as you can see, it's an absolutely beautiful day today. It's a gorgeous blue sky. It's really warm. And up and down the country today, I bet loads of families are sat in their gardens, reading books and enjoying the sun. But in this house, we've got a camper to build. My drill uh, didn't have enough clearance on it and it kept binding up in the hole that's why I snapped it. Need to buy some new drills I think. I should do the trick. This is the floor extension finished. This is the uh, front of our box. And I wanted some storage space in here, both sides. And also I needed to extend it through there to make the walkway through, uh, which I'm just about to do. Um, I've made this subframe up. I did do some filming um, and the good old iMovie um, editing suite decided it didn't like the the filming that I'd done so I had to delete it which is a shame but uh, this is basically made from uh, well that piece and that piece there with the old bits of chassis left over from the chassis extension I did on the Vario this is just an old piece of box section that I had and this is just an old piece of angle line that I had I really didn't want to buy new materials they're just the price of them is ridiculous at the moment so anyway, this is all really good and solid now. There will be, when it when it gets lowered down, it's going to go down about uh, 125 mil here. And when it does, I'll, uh, I'll make a bracket to go on there that then goes directly onto the chassis as well. So then it's mounted in two places either side. It's not going to move anywhere. Okay, so the next thing to do is for me to make some floor up. And I've got some of the uh, some of the flooring from the old containers that I've just broken and dismantled. So I'm going to use one of those. It should work perfectly. It's actually really good because it's a hundred millimeters thick, like the original floor in the in the uh, first box. So it's going to be a hundred mil thick from there up to about here, and then I can box all of this in afterwards with some of the other spare panels I've got and uh, I'll show you that when I do it. It's all ready to be tied in up to the cab over frame. I'm going to take these brackets all the way down onto here and then I can fix the panels in sideways there and this way and then there'll be a door across the end on each end.
with all painting, the time actually is, goes into all the preparation. It's all the time before you actually paint. And this is one example, there's a sticker or something on the box that I've got to scrape off. It's actually strangely satisfying to do it, but I might not feel that way after I've done another six. But at the moment, I'm quite happy. But once these are all off and it's all been sanded, the paint will stick properly. That's the idea. Oh no, sorry, it just took a bit longer to get it through, so I still did it. This is Megan in action. <laughs> and there we go. <laughs> Riveted in. Right, you got the hell of that then, mate? Yeah. Then I'll tell you where we'll put the other ones when we've done that. Alright. That's a good little tool, isn't it, though? Went through that. That's great, Megs. Yeah. Brilliant. So these are going to be storage cupboards on the behind the cab and under the cab over. So we're doing a good job. That's an excellent tool, Megs, isn't it? Yeah. Am I doing it right? Yeah, yeah. perfect. That's so Megan's just filming us in the cab. This is the walkthrough into the camper, which will be lower. And we're putting this metal trim that Roger's made, we're fitting it to go in this um, walk through here. So we're going to prime and paint that, put the trim in there and stick the carpet down and finish it all nicely. And then we'll show you what it looks like when it's stuck on, but we think it'll be a good finish. Pardon? You said this would be fun. I'm sorry, love, if you're a bit pampered and you don't enjoy that kind of work. I mean, who wouldn't enjoy sandy down there? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's really like it. Mmm. Mmm. It's great fun. Um, have you got any more? Please, this? Have you used that one already? Are these two? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's going to look great. It's a really tight space. Yeah. But she's, um... She's doing a good job, aren't you, Megsy? <laughs> yeah. I feel like an astronaut. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. A planet of white paint. <laughs> <laughs> so Megan's painting the inside of our storage cupboards. And it's a tight squeeze in there, so she's perfect for the job. <laughs> Well done, Megs. That's going to look loads see it better. Still, does it yeah, matter? no, it'll be fine. It's a lot better than it was. Well, it's all fun and games today. I've just been uh, making some bits for the cab over and it started to snow. Just what I needed. It's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> oh well, it's all sent to try us, I suppose. almost fits. 
there's a gap here and a gap here because there are a couple of welds stopping it and if we go up to the front areas you can see it doesn't quite fit back where I want it to so I'll cut 10 mil off the back and uh, move the whole thing back and that should be okay oh all this to sleep somewhere it's crazy Because uh, he was a really grumpy Asian bloke. Yeah. And he gave me the box and everything, took me home. And he went, Right, I've just got to take the picture. And I went, <laughs> Did he laugh? Yeah, he did. But he went, Hmm. <laughs> That's funny, Ross. Because he was so grumpy. So grump. You've got personal training, haven't you, Charlie? Yeah. I know. Don't you know. need to keep on at me. I will keep on, but three weeks! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Hello, love, that wasn't very long, was it? Bring it in the weather. <laughs> this is the Lovely summer. Rainy. Welcome to spring in Britain. Yes. Have you had a good day so far? Yeah, very good, thanks, Herb. Did you have a good day? Did you swear when it started snowing? No. <laughs> I never swear, Herbs. You never know. Yeah. Football training tonight, Herbs. Yeah. I'm glad it's not outside. Yeah, me too. Love you. Love you, big boy. See you in a bit, Herbs. You know I said that the, uh, the great orange engineer likes to have cups of tea or coffee every 40 minutes. Let me just show you evidence of that. So I'm just tidying up. Let's see what we can find. One mug. Two mugs. And then, of course, precariously perched up here, three mugs. So. Obviously, I need to teach him how to actually bring empty mugs back into the kitchen.
go over every single surface because it gets all the gunk off before we paint it, Megs. Yeah. So here are those uh, frames you saw me making. This first one is to join the box to the back of the cab. I've made these to go over some joints in the panels on the cab and the actual rubber seal that goes round clips over this edge. So that's the first one. The second two are for the locker doors and these are the infill panels that are going to sit inside them in here. So the job for today is to get those fitted. I've also been making these two pieces. They're actually to go on the triangle subframe underneath the cab over just there as strengthening pieces. I didn't. I was going to leave it like that, but I didn't actually like it that much, so. I've decided to cover it over. I've made a plate to go underneath that I've already shown and I'm just making these members to fit on the outside and they'll be uh, sicker flexed and riveted on. Job for today is to fit those frames into these doorways that I've made and to cut the trims to go on the corners of the storage boxes m has been inside and painted them all and now uh, they're ready to be sealed down all the joints uh, with a probably with tiger seal I think I can get white tiger seal I'll do it with those and uh, there are two reasons for making these storage boxes obviously they're really handy for putting different things in one side we're going to use as a as a coat storage uh, box and somewhere to put all our boots and the um, this side I'm not actually sure what we're going to put in there yet but uh, we decided that when we were going to make the box we wanted a lot of storage as I've already said before in previous videos and I think it was a good idea we're really pleased with it although it's been a lot of work there were two reasons for building these one of them obviously is that the storage is really handy and the other reason is as you can see they now support the bottom of the cab over I made that black subframe there and that now spreads all of the load back into these walls and back into the main wall of the box so there's no way this is ever going to flex or move or bounce up and down or anything um, and it's obviously now with all the fixings and the way the aluminium frame was fixed onto the original box it's not going to go anywhere wasn't like this in rehearsals. The corners, I've got some of the original corner mouldings as well. But I've got enough. Then I can cut that section out and I've got a nice little gap in there and it'll look as though it was made to go in there, which is, uh, which is perfect. Well, that's the end of a good, another good day. Being very productive today. Managed to cut these corner pieces, 
and work out where the door's going to sit. Got two of these angle beads made either side. Just put some rivets in just to hold them in place at the moment. Got these bottom boards on and I've cut the one that goes across here which is this one. But uh, I've got some sealant to get off the back of it and some glue tomorrow. Can't face it tonight, it's been a long day, long hard day actually. But uh, yeah, both sides of the storage boxes have got the trims cut now and uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be ready to sand it down and think about getting some Raptor on it, which is going to be a great step in the process. So one of the first jobs for today is some more sanding, which is why I've got my lovely mask at the ready. So these door panels need to go in over with the orbital sander to get them ready for rapturing. Roger's over here scraping all this silicon off of some trims, uh, which go along the side of the box. Takes a bit of muscle, as you can see, but it's coming off. There's quite a lot of it on here. I'll go in a bit closer so you can see it's really thick sticky stuff um, so that's all going to come off and be sanded down so that we can paint those tomorrow as well um, and then for today i'll show you around the, the uh, camper here these are the storage boxes uh, that have all been painted sand uh, and ready sanded ready and these are going to be raptured later today once we've masked everything up so standing back you will see the cab it's red, we've got red raptor at the bottom and then those storage boxes in the middle there will also be red raptored uh, by the end of today. We'll paint the rest of the box another time. So we better get on with it. Look at that sky. <laughs> Lots of prep gone on today. This is the scuttle that I've just etch primed. Quite like doing that job. Uh, so we're just waiting for that to dry. These are the door panels that have all been sanded and rubbed down with acetone. Another bit that's all been primed, ready to go up there tomorrow and raptured. You can hear Rog in there welding away on um, some other bits that are going to go under the cab frame so it's been good weather for everything to dry off today we haven't got quite as far as we'd hoped um, but we've, we're quite pleased with what we've got done today and the weather's been perfect we're getting everything dry so tomorrow will be a big day of getting the raptor on that nice red colour right Let's have a look at these welds then. Have you listened to everything I taught you, my little apprentice? Look at those. They'll do, won't they? They passed inspection. Well done, Rog. Thank you. I'm glad you like them. <laughs> Mum's about to ship the scuttle, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Roger's just checking that these frames all fit in properly and then I believe we'll be priming them all before we wrap to them. But they, I think they look good. They look like they've always been there, which is a good sign. I'll show you the other side. Ooh, it's a bit shady around here. So you can see the trim that Roger's um, just held in place for now. And these are the cupboards. There's no, obviously, no ceiling at the moment. Oh, look, there's another sticker for me to have a go at. That's my next job. So, another gorgeous day today which is perfect for us to prep all these panels ready to be raptured. We've got some over here, so they've had to be sanded down, degreased. Um, some things have got primer on as well. 
and then we've masked bits up with masking paper and tape another bit over here ready for Rog to get, get going with the raptor so that's what we'll be filming next and I don't think it's going to take long to dry with this gorgeous weather jobs going on today I'll um, show you what we've been doing so first of all I've been on the orbital sander sanding down these panels to go on the side of the cab over this one's more or less ready scraped all the glue and velcro off and given it a good sand and then I've got another one to do which is just over here so that's my next job while I've been doing that Roger's been busy over here do you want to say what you've been up to Rog yeah I've just been uh, etch priming these doors ready for the black raptor and uh, I've made all the door brackets and everything there and they are to go in those frames that actually end up on the two storage boxes on the side so we're at a good stage we're just about to raptor these mm. just about to raptor the boxes and also we're going to be able to put the bed panels in the top of the cab over so things are moving all really well it's a great stage so the panels are, we've got two little travelers in the back of the cab i don't know if you can see them waving <laughs> they like sitting in there now it's all clean um yeah yesterday rog wrapped up the um panels that are going to go in the bottom of that cab over so they they're all ready to go so it'll be a real transformation when this bit's done because we'll actually have some colour on the uh, box, on the panels for the cab over and the storage cupboard. So it's been good and the weather's been so kind we've been able to get on with it without rain. So it's a good day and it's all going well. What I'll do around those edges is go around that the tie black tiger seal. Yeah. And seal all those in so you won't see the brilliant to see paint on it, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. It's been a lot of work, isn't it? Yeah.
so today we've got a really lovely windy day and today's the day I wanted to rapture the boxes in red so I'm having to be quick and uh, get it done before the masking paper blows off in places as you can see uh, I suppose I should leave it for tomorrow but I just can't wait I want to get the rapture on and get all the frames and the edging to put back on this and then the box is finished so yeah we're going to crack on and see if we can get it done Typical. As soon as I turn the camera on, the wind dies down. I can't believe that. Anyway, uh, that's the storage boxes. Raptors. They've had two coats. Uh, this time I actually... Sorry about the wind noise. I can't do a lot about that. But uh, they've had two coats. And this time I actually thinned down the coats. Mixed some dinners in with it. And it seems to have gone on a lot better. I know... Everyone seems to have their own favourite way of using Raptor, but I, this is the first time I've done that and it's actually gone be on better than I've ever sprayed it, so I'm pleased with that. I've learned something today and uh, I think it's going to turn out really well. Just need the wind to calm down a bit for a little while while the Raptor dries and then I can pull all the masking paper off. But so far, I'm really pleased with it. Be all right, won't they? Yeah. With all the fingerprints. Good though, isn't it? You've done a good job. I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, it looks great. Well done. And the rain. Here we are. Morning after the day before. Um, yes, yeah, nice warm day today. Bit of a breeze. But the sun's basically out all the time, and it's nice and warm. And uh, nice thing is, 
just as well that way. We can get all the trims put on today. They're all, uh, as you can see, I think I showed this before, these have all been wrapped in black. And they're all dry, ready to go on. And uh, here are the two doors for the lockers. So I can put those on today. They're all assembled, locks at work. Uh, I've just got some uh, rubber seals to put around the inside once the doors are in place. And uh, yeah, basically it's a glory boy day today. I'm doing all the nice stuff. I can, we've done all the hard work and I can put all these trims back on and start to think about putting our bed panels in the cabin over. And also um, on those black triangle sections there, I've got three pieces to add on to there that have been raptured. And then I can think about lowering the box down and getting it into the right position so that we can put the, the uh, cab connector on from the cab to the box for the walkthrough. And also we can get this point up here down to the same level as that one. It needs to be lowered about five inches. Um, I've got all of the uh, I've got all of the sh chassis packers ready to get the box sat at the right level. As you can see, we're sat up on two pieces of wood at the front, and there's one further down at the back there. I did that so that all the water would run off the top of the box if it rained and um, wouldn't get in all of the foam on the front in the panels. So yeah, I think it's going to be a good day today. I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to get started. Old school, Rog. I turned the camera off in case the air went blue. Hello, well as promised this is the after shot of our doorway through into the camper. So hopefully you can see, I'll bring you a bit closer. We've got the frame that's been painted all around the doorway. Now at the moment you can see there are some big rivets that are a different colour and we're undecided at the moment whether they'll be painted black or actually whether Rog will drill them out and replace them with some black ones. But it's a really nice neat finish. Um, I'll move back so that you can hopefully get a good idea of it and you can see it going through into the camper. Um, we're obviously going to finish this with some nice uh, board and um, vinyl flooring which will go through the whole thing but we're really pleased with how it looks. Okay so here's the inside of the box. We're almost at the stage. We're almost at the stage where we can have a clear out in here and get rid of all these old panels and start to plan out where the kitchen's going to be and where the bathroom is and everything else. I think that's probably about a week away, but we're all really looking forward to that stage. It's going to be uh, great fun and really exciting. 
Okay, so I mentioned these uh, storage lockers. Here are all the walls and I've used all the brackets from the fridge bodies that I dismantled to strengthen all of this. As you can see, it's all tied in. And this frame goes all the way to the front of the cab over and sits on top of the wall panels here and is actually fixed to it. To them rather. I'll show you that now. Yeah, this is all tied back in to the cab over frame that I made. These brackets are as well, they're welded on and then they've been sicker flexed and riveted and then these panels have also been riveted and sicker flexed into the frame and all of the stresses from this cab over are now transmitted down through here straight through into these walls and then back into the main box which is the strongest point so I think it's probably over engineered it but better that than it uh, ends up moving or cracking when it's on and spoiling all of our good work it's starting to come on it's coming on really well now and we're all really happy with it and very excited you can see some tiny holes in the original boxes to repair but basically it's all really solid now and I can't see it moving at all so I've finally reached a really good stage on the build now whenever I take on a project I think psychologically I always have some milestones or targets that I set myself and one of them has been if I can hold it to fit this weather strip which is for the walkthrough between the, uh, the cab and the box I've actually made the frame to go on the box and what I'm going to do now is fit this onto the back of the cab first and then I'll uh, fit the one that goes onto the box after that I need got quite a bit to cut off of this but I can't tell you, it almost feels unreal that I'm here. I've done so much work, so much preparation to get to this point and to be able to join these two together. I still can't quite join them together yet, but I'm, I am ready to cut this off, which is just amazing. <laughs> so, uh, well, it's a bit wet and rainy today, slightly miserable, but uh, those are the storage boxes done really good stage to get to it's been a lot of work to get to this point and um, we're absolutely chuffed to bits with them really pleased they're going to be very handy indeed so there you go everyone I hope you've enjoyed this video please make sure you like and subscribe hit the notifications button so that you can catch up with us on our next video to see how the progress is going there's lots and lots of exciting uh, things happening in the next one. We're really starting to make some big progress now and the uh, camp is starting to move along. So yeah, don't forget, like and subscribe, hit the notifications button and thank you for watching.